Pleasure in welcoming Madam Chetan Preet Nilo. She is Assistant Professor in Public Administration at DAV College, Chandigarh. It is indeed a pride privilege to have a, a sports person of international fame amongst us today. She has represented India as a rifle shooter in Asian Games, World Cup, Asian Championship, World Championship, and many more events in both junior and senior categories from 2001 to 2015. She has also been a national gold medalist twice. Academically speaking, uh, Madam Nilo, she has a sound background with double masters in English and public administration. She has been a topper in her college. Now she is pursuing her PhD in policy studies from Punjab University Chandigarh in the Department of Public Administration. Her research area focuses on youth development and nation building through sports. Uh, uh, through sports in consonance with the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development with a special emphasis on gender equality through sports. Being a member of Textbook Development Committee, Punjab School Education Board adds another feather to her cap. I, on the behalf of the management, principal, faculty and students of GHG Khalsa College of Education, accord a very warm welcome to Madam Chetan Preet Nilo and request her to deliberate on the theme, physical well-being. Welcome, ma'am, and over to you, please. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Dr. Jis. And I would uh, first... Chetan, you're not audible. Chetan, you're not audible. With... Okay, I'll try again. Hold on. Can you hear me now? No, you're not audible. You, huh? A little louder, you're still not audible. Okay. Is it better? A little more. I think no. No, still not. I will I'll just disengage my earphones, maybe and I'll just please disconnect your audio and just insert it again. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh you perfect. Now it's okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I you can share the screen also using make the service. Uh, okay, so I'll just um, once again thank Dr. Uh, Jasleen Kaur, ma'am, for a very warm welcome. And uh, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude uh, to the respected principal, sir, and the very competent organizers of this international webinar. I must say that the topic that you have chosen is of great relevance and importance in today, today's times. And before me, uh, my senior colleague, I'm very proud to say that uh, Dr. Shruti Shori had a session and she was very enlightening to listen to and her expertise and experience is very well known amongst academicians. Uh, every time I listen to her, I gain new knowledge and this session was no different. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So before I start my presentation, uh, without wasting any more time, I'll just share my screen. Uh, so is it so Manu ma'am could you just confirm whether this is happening successfully yes, yes, it's please make it full screen yes I'm just is yes. it okay now it's okay it's perfect please go ahead perfect perfect so I'll just go to the beginning so the topic uh, that I'm going to or the sub theme that I'm going to talk about is in this uh, well-being during pandemic and post-pandemic, I am going to concentrate more on the physical health and lifestyle during these times and how to proceed further. So, uh, first of all, excuse me, Chetan, could you just bring your mic a little closer? I'm sorry. All right. A little closer to your mic so that it will be better. Okay. Just, is it better, ma'am? Ah, it's better. It's better. Please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, all right. So we are living in times of... Uh, first of all, this virus, the COVID-19, came unexpected 
and we were unprepared. So first of all, we have unexpected virus for which there is no vaccine so far. So we are very uncertain about that. And the second thing that happened was that we were caught unawares, we were unprepared, the governments were unprepared, and the only thing or the only way out was a complete shutdown or a lockdown. And currently for the past two months, we've been living in a situation of great uncertainty. In fact, there is a very popular proverb that is uh, said for times of uncertainty. It is that it is better to be certain for uh, bad news than to be uncertain about any news. Now, this jo e mahol hai uncertainty and confinement da in a ek panic ek fear ek instability da mahol create kar ditta hai ga jide nal mental distress cause ho reha hai so mental distress has often been linked to very positively it has been linked to physical ailments physical illness nu apa aksar kehne ha ki har bimari di jad kite na kite mental state which hai hai, which ma'am has talked about at length. So I won't go too deep into that, but I would like to share a, a very short uh, story. It's actually a personal experience of a close colleague. So this is a real incident. So one of my colleagues, ona de jere family de elder female name, she lives independently in Delhi. She is about 70 years old. They, Recently, on Adhikar, about two years back, there was a wedding in the house. She was out for preparations and market, which her foot slipped and she had a fall. She was safe. She was taken to the hospital. She was fine, but her age was 70, right? So 70 the age day, uh, she was suffering for 20 years. She had been taking medication for BP for sugar and for thyroid. Now, what happened was that although she was otherwise fine, because of this mental, uh, this trauma, on the long-term memory, the partial loss ho gaya. A lot of incidents in her life, she completely ek blank slate ho gaye, ona nu yaadi nahi si gaye. Now, the family informed the doctors ki yo e tin bimariya di, dawai regularly, we saal to lehra hai si gaye, and the doctors ran some tests. The tests run kite, or test the result aya, the doctors got very confused. Onane second time run kite. And you will not believe, but she was not now suffering from onada, sirf borderline sugar C. There was no indication of thyroid, there was no indication of BP. And sugar was simply borderline, not worth taking medication for. So every time I narrate this incident, I feel very uh, like wrong take hundene, goosebumps ajandene, because this incident perfectly describes the link between mental health and physical health. And uh, I hope I'm audible completely. I can see some raised hands. You're audible, Chetan. Yes, you're audible. Please okay. go ahead. Okay. I'm just, okay. Take it. Take it. Okay. So now let us just see ki what are the changes that this entire atmosphere has brought in our lives. Apa pella in sedentary lifestyle to suffer karasi sedentary simply refers to lack of physical activity. But a steady sedentary lifestyle hai a amplify ho gaya hai. Jira apa ik jagate bethe rana physical output bilkul reduce honi nearly. 70 to 90 percent reduction I hai apne physical output which daily torte that we probably are not realizing so sedentary lifestyle jada hai long-term health te bohat vada impact konda hai most of our later life problems are linked with the lifestyle we are living today and ortho problems and later on the joint pains and the muscle aches they are all because of the sedentary lifestyle in fact uh, recently, in our department, we had a national uh, seminar by the Ministry of Health. They othe jo pata lagya ki WHO da data, the India da data bhi kafi had tak same hai gaye ki more than 60% of the illnesses in the world are non-communicable diseases. 
non communicable diseases now what are these non communicable diseases these are diseases which are not because of some infection so they can't be infected another person cannot be infected so what are the examples like i just talked about you have a bp issue you have sugar uh, extreme cases which even cancer right so you can't then you have uh, chronic spondylitis cervical is sariya non communicable diseases ne in fact ajkal je appa apne aas paas dekhde ha the physio centers shayad hospitals nalo zyada ne number which and all of them are running very successfully that means there is something that is being that is common amongst all the adults or even the children especially the elderly jo ki ajkal de time which sari population which common hai so most of these are because of the way we live our lifestyles so what are the impacts that uh, covid or this lockdown especially has caused is sab to pehla apne daily routines jehde ne wo alter ho gaye the the daily routines which like i just said physical output has been reduced by 70 to 90% apne sleep patterns jo sleep and wake cycles ne wo bahut severely impact hoye ne ede vaste ek technical term hai that is known as circadian rhythm i will be taking this up later a lot of you might be familiar with it so this i will be going into detail later in the later part of my presentation so our sleep patterns have changed and our dietary patterns have undergone a huge change i am very glad that you have a sub theme in your webinar on this complete topic so dietary pattern has actually seen an amplification ज्यादा हो रही है आपा जो डाइट कर रहे हैं स्पेशली जी आप स्नैकिंग कर रहे हैं टाइम टू टाइम वेले बैठे हैं स्नैकिंग कर रहे हैं सो दैट इज वेरी डेंजरस बिकॉज वो डायरेक्टली अपने ग्लाइसीमिक इंडेक्स में अफेक्ट करती है एंड यू नो नो मैटर वेदर यू हैव अ गुड डाइट नो मैटर यू रीड गुड थिंग्स नो मैटर यू आर लिविंग इन अ गुड प्लेस इफ यू डोंट गेट अप एंड इफ यू डोंट मूव यू डोंट फील हेल्दी एंड इफ यू डोंट फील एक्टिव यू डोंट फील गुड there are i think common problems we are facing are we are constantly low on energy and we are lethargic nowadays we are lethargic sense and time uh, time and space the sense kafi zyada apni lost ho gayi hai we are uh, at odds now uh, the next that i would go to is i will be taking up this uh, topic in two parts so i won't talk about general health i'll be a little more specific so i'll be dividing it into vulnerable demographic and less vulnerable but equally impacted so vulnerable is those who are more susceptible those who are more susceptible or prone to infections because of their low immunity or the which you have the children and you have the elderly the inna the immunity under developed hundi hai ta illness the chances inna layi higher hunde ne एल्डरली नू भी दो हिस्सा ब्रॉडली क्लासीफाई कर जरूरत है द सीनियर्स आर दोज हू आर सिक्सटी प्लस समवेयर बिटवीन सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी मे बी सेवेंटी फाइव एंड द सुपर सीनियर्स हू आर बिटवीन और सैवेंटी फाइव टू बियोंड वट एवर एज बियोंड नाउ ये दोनों आप सैपरेटली क्लासीफाई क्यों कर रहे हैं बिकॉज जेडे सीनियर्स ने सीनियर सिटीजन जो आप कह दें हाँ mostly they have just retired from whatever profession they were working and the current state of health is in a flux you are active but if you don't have a routine immediately after your retirement your health takes a downfall there is a chance of later life problems arising from this phase a diet as well as physical routine will ensure ki age related issues bad cho na vadan they are still capable of having a good physical routine and their bodies are still responding to diet jehde super seniors ne those who are beyond 80 with them their health is very dependent on external assistance external assistance ki hoyi external assistance ho gayi diet of course but medicines and then external equipment jime ਕਈਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਐਜ਼ਮਾ ਜਾਂ ਵੀਕ ਲੰਗਸ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਨੇਬੂਲਾਈਜ਼ਰ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਾਂ ਰੈਗੂਲਰ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਓਥੈਰੇਪੀ ਦੇ ਸੈਸ਼ਨਸ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਕੰਫਰਟੇਬਲੀ ਵਾਕ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਡੂ देयर ਬੇਸਿਕ ਟਾਸਕਸ ਜੇ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਤਾਂ ਬੈਡ ਰਿਡਨ ਹੋਣ ਦਾ ਖਤਰਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜਲਦੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਦ ਅਦਰ ਵਲਨਰੇਬਲ ਡੈਮੋਗ੍ਰਾਫਿਕ ਆਦਰ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ 
ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੋ ਕੈਟਾਗਰੀਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਿਵਾਈਡ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਬ੍ਰੋਡਲੀ ਵਨ ਕੈਟਾਗਰੀ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਨਿਓਨੇਟਲ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਪੋਸਟਨੇਟਲ ਯਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਿਲੋ ਨੇ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਫਰਜਾਈਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਇਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਹਜੇ ਡਿਵੈਲਪ ਹੋਣੀ ਹੈ uh the second category is between 5 to 12 years the school goers mostly ona da apart from immunity energy and health is also a problem so we'll be taking that up later the other demographic that i will be taking up is the less vulnerable but equally impacted maybe even more impacted and that is the adult population those who are between 15 to 65 years they are the work horses of this pandemic of this entire scenario a jo a adult population hai ina de shoulders te responsibility hai ki is time nu bhi strongly kadna hai te post pandemic vi rebuild karna hai jehdi duniya nu family nu economy nu oh bhi sari zimmedari ina te hai so they are the work horses there is a special focus in them especially on the females so i will um continue sab to pehla before going into the details i would like to just kind of take a short time out and talk about what is good what is positive about this pandemic so what is good is that thin demographics jede ne ohna ne ek bada common response ditta hai ki jo e pause hui hai life jive apan jadon chote hunde statue khelde sige so somebody would say statue and you would be you would just stop where you are you would not move ahead you would not move behind so this lockdown this pandemic is something similar so this is a good pause so what are the three categories which are very happy about uh, this pause the first are the midlife professionals when we are young professionals we can take up challenges we don't have a lot of responsibility from the home front and we have energy we have boundless energy but towards the time jadon apa midlife tak pahunchde ha us time te apne responsibilities career diyan profession diyan vi bahut zyada high hundiyan ne te ਕਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਐਸ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸਿਬਿਲਟੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਉਨੀਆਂ ਹੀ ਹਾਈ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਦੋ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਫॉर देम ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਪੌਜ਼ ਟੂ ਜਸਟ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਟਾਪ ਐਂਡ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਬ੍ਰੈਥ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਟੂ ਵਿਚ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਹੈਪੀ ਆਰ ਦ ਐਲਡਰਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਵਿਚ ਗੋਸ ਵਿਦਆਊਟ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਐਲਡਰਲੀ ਜੋ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਹੈਪੀ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਅਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਪੈਂਡ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਗੋਸ ਫॉर ਦ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਮੈਮ ਵਾਸ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਬਿਗਿਨਿੰਗ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਗੁੱਡ ਥਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਲੋਕਡਾਊਨ ਐਂਡ ਮੋਸਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਆਨਸਰਸ ਵਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨਦਰ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਵਾਈ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਪੌਸ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਇਜ਼ ਓਕੇ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਸੀ ਹੋਰ ਕਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਡੇਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਨਾ ਤੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੋ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਆਫ ਐਨੀ ਜੋ ਡੇਲੀ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੈ ਰਿਹਾ i'll give an example i'll give an example such as uh, the fast pace of life has slowed down apa deadline to deadline jyon de sige and jo deadline to deadline jyon rahe sige ta ohi apni life ban gayi si ki i think memes bhi on this ye dete ki life is all about one deadline to the next deadline and then death so that rush has stopped the second thing that is good is that there is no early morning rush or early morning stress of getting up getting the kids ready getting yourself ready cooking the food and rushing to reach college or your place of work on time you wake up in a more calm manner which is a very very good thing then uh, the next is relating to this is we are free from the daily driving a lot of us drive long distances or even short distances and somehow apne sare na leda hunda hai ki we end up getting late te late vich apa car bhaja rahe hunne ha te apne naal jinne vi loki road te ne oh bhi onni zyada car bhaja rahe hunde ne and oh jehda daily driving the road rush road rage incidents also ekdam stop ho gaye ne so there is no daily morning rush that we have to uh face in driving then the next can be we are free from the workplace stress the workplace the workplace politics which also take a toll on us then the next is we are eating better food our eating habits are better we are eating home cooked food we are snacking less from outside which are all very great positives in this time 
एंड फाइनली ऑफ कोर्स मोर फैमिली टाइम यू वुड बी सरप्राइज टू नो कि ओवरऑल जदों सर्वे किया गया तो पता लग्या कि सिर्फ आई थिंक वन टू टू आवर्स ऑफ एक्टिव फैमिली टाइम टू आवर्स इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी ग्रेट लग्जरी सो इस तो पहला हर वर्किंग प्रोफेसनल सिर्फ दिन के चौबी घंटे चो एक या दो घंटे फैमिली टाइम मिलता सी वो भी प्लैनिंग वो टाइम एकदम बहुत एम्पलीफाई हो गया है सो वी हैव अ चांस टू री इवैल्यूएट आवर लाइफ स्टाइल बिकॉज वी हैड बीन समवेयर subconsciously we had become consumerist in our approach towards life and now we have a chance to be more sustainable so like ma'am was saying i would like to repeat the same that this time this time of uh, lockdown pandemic and the pause we have an opportunity to become conscious to think to become aware of our daily or hourly choices even what do we eat today we are thinking nowadays when we cook we think a lot ki banaiye apan nu strong immunity ki karegi i think jinni green tea jinne kaade apa is time ch peete ne shayad puri life ch kathe nahi peete honge and that will reflect positively on our health so health behavior towards making conscious healthy decisions is what our ultimate goal should be our ultimate take away should be from this lockdown so another good example that i would like to share is that uh, canada as well as some countries in europe uh unane work from home no normalize karta hai so that means until and unless you are required to be at your workplace physically maybe for a meeting maybe for some other task you stay home and work from home and they are happy with that which i think is a very brilliant thing it's a great thing roads the rush cut hoga days the planning the flexibility zyada hogi output of work bhi zyada hogi because mentally apa thode zyada relaxed they free homange right so that is there now if we continue so i will like to take up the adult population first so adult population which sab to pehle females why do i talk about the females because females are bearing the brunt of this lockdown a little more than the males if we talk about physical health mainly because ona te not just families uh, not just workplace but also their household chores household errands ne uh almost 65 to 85% of the households no aj we females hi run kar diyan ne urban which maybe 65 and rural which nearly 85 and they don't run it actually they work it run karna means taking daily decisions work karna means actually doing the work so maybe running which males the decision land which males the input hai but working which haje we males the input bahut kat hai ye so the females are uh, bearing the brunt of this and this of course becomes worse for the working women so even uh, managing the online meetings while ensuring that the housework is not left behind and housework is cleaning it is cooking and cooking is not one time it is Three to five meals a day, if we include the snacks demanded by children and everything, then taking care of the medicines of the household of the elderly again that is part, and even washing and other chores. So all this largely is being handled handled by the females. They report stereo hai, or there are rec recurring cases of fatigue. So you have increased cases of uh, bodily aches, of cervical, of spondylitis, of backache. of various kinds of headaches and migraines they have increased males also are equally if not more they are equally impacted increased stress professional uncertainty sab de mind pe bahut zyada play kar rahi hai i think manu ma'am will be taking that up tomorrow about stress at workplace especially during the lockdown so it has become uh, very challenging because some were not familiar with the online mode with the digital mode but they are still being put through that stress 
Then the second R, this is resulting in health fluctuations. The other thing with males that has become a little more than common, unfortunately, is substance abuse. Uh, substance abuse, the, they are not able to keep track of the intake, whether it is drinking, whether it's smoking, whether it's any other intoxicant. Odi matra kinik intake hundi hai, us cheez te ik taranda conscious awareness nahi rakhi jari te kite na kite ho zyada hi ho rahi hai because of the stress, to take away the stress. So it's an easy way out. So BP, anxiety attacks and overall irritable behavior. These are common things that are being seen in most of the males today. Teje is cheez di haje koi precaution na rakhi jave, then this behavior can be the foundation of future health issues such as late life sugar, asthma, and many other related issues. Now, if we talk about the vulnerable population, so vulnerable population, the which, bache, most important, the children, the adolescents, they are our future, they are our responsibility, they are the joy of our life, and they are, if we look at it from the point of view of a country, economy or the world, they are the future healthy workforce of the country and of the world. They deserve maximum attention from government policies as well as family structures. which one major areas focus Number one, of course, is screen exposure. Unfortunately, the kids without them realizing are being put through a lot of eye trauma. The second is sedentary again for children, it's killing. And third is that their eating and sleeping patterns have altered for the worse. So screen exposure, almost 41% of children, and I'm talking of young children, those who are somewhere under five to seven years. So they are spending up to three to five hours in front of the TV. I remember when we were young, we would talk to them that we would read books a lot. We would read them and read them and read them. Then the TV would come, the cable would come, the cable would not be able to read the cable. Kare, ne, for two reasons. First, of course, eyes, and the second was, of course, a distraction. And now, today, we have screens right here. So we have our phones right here. And unfortunately, uh, I would not say that it's wrong, but kite na kite, is cheez nu aware bhi hona chahi ta hai. Bohut parents ne apne young bachya nu meal times de, taki khana khwa den, pehla bachya nu rhymes sunon de si, koi gal sunon de si ge, hun chakke phone ya koi iPad ya kuch bhi samne rakh den dene, and then it is easy for them to feed because the child's attention is somewhere else. And during this time, because kids demand time, kids demand attention, kids demand you to be present, and that might not be possible in this lockdown because to see kitchen busy ho ya kam busy ho ya kisi aur cheez busy ho. So simply making them sit in front of the screen is an easy way out. Apart from that, schools, classes, online classes which are a good initiative, but at the same time, the screen time is a great cause for worry. Long-term effects, jade screen time, they ne ki later life, which the apni vision cut the hai. Us time te, a bachyan di vision, jade kate ki, o zada severely reduce hoi ki. So they will have to wear glasses probably a lot earlier, and loss of vision towards the later life is also going to be quite a possibility. Uh, how do you identify ki bachya no eyes dukhriya ne ya strain ho gaya because kids cannot tell. Most of the times they don't realize it themselves. So if their eyes are itching too much, they are burning, the kids are constantly rubbing their eyes. Jado screen dekh rahe ne, khush ne, par thodi der baad kuntiyan pae jandiyan ne thode mathe te. Then loss of focus in general, then addiction, demand for screen. Be to see khana nahi bhi kha rahe, parents nahi de rahe, taan fero tantrums throw kar rahe ne. This is, these are very, very clear signs that the kids are becoming dependent on these screens. Macular degeneration hundi hai, later life, which thode retina te, jodi blue light emit hundi hai screens to, 
ਉਹਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਇਫੈਕਟ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਨੋ ਮੈਟਰ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਕੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਾਡੀ ਬਲੂ ਲਾਈਟ ਘੱਟ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਾਡਾ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਆਈ ਫਰੈਂਡਲੀ ਹੈ ਸਕਰੀਨਸ ਕੈਨ ਨੇਵਰ ਬੀ ਆਈ ਫਰੈਂਡਲੀ ਔਨ ਲੋਂਗਰ ਡਿਊਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਟੋਲ ਸੋ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਿਕਸ ਦੇ ਗਿਵ ਆਫ ਅ ਹਾਈ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਵੇਵਲੈਂਥ ਬਲੂ ਵਾਇਲਟ ਲਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੱਕ ਵੈਟ ਫਿਲਮ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਉਹ ਬੜੀ ਫਰਜਾਈਲ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਯੰਗ ਕਿਡਸ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਸਮਾਲ ਨਿਊਬੋਰਨ ਬੇਬੀਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਆਈਜ਼ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਵਾਟਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟਿਵ ਲੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਫਿਲਮ ਔਨ ਦ ਆਈਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਫਿਲਮ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਬਲੂ ਅਲਟਰਾ ਵਾਇਲਟ ਲਾਈਟ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਬੜੀ ਈਜ਼ੀਲੀ ਡਰਾਈ ਅਪ ਯਾ ਟੀਅਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਫॉर ਇਟ 2020 perfect vision kehdi hundi hai perfect vision hundi hai 2020 vision so 2020 vision vaste 2020 formula use karna hai 20 second break after 20 minutes for those who are having online classes even this simple formula of just looking away from the screen and not looking at the screen for 20 seconds which is nothing is actually beneficial while the classes are going on ede vaste you can set up a timer most of us have it on our phones a pike timer set up kar sakde ha and the screen you have to ensure is a minimum of 18 to 24 inches away from the child's eyes so break the old addictions and ensure new daily routine another thing that this blue light impacts is the screen time even adults are facing so those are the circadian rhythms thoda sleep wake cycle especially raat nu saun vele saariyan lights off karke hath vich mobile hunda hai te ode te appa whatsapp messages scroll kar rahe ha videos dekh rahe ha facebook te scroll kar rahe ha koi news pad rahe ha kise hor app nu dekh rahe ha it is disastrous it just spoils your entire physical health also then sedentary lifestyles they restrict growth for children if you uh, remember bachcha nu hamesha pt da time schools vich zyada hunda hai running around is always very important and chote hunde ta eh vi kende sige bhi jinne height vadhoni hai oh latakke te height vad jayegi that means that whatever physical activity you do at this particular stage of life it will have an impact there is a link between both so loco locomotor functions impact hunde ne je bacche hune to sedentary ho jan ta so low energy levels restricted growth and locomotor functions the next are the sleep and eat cycles now sleep and eat cycles like we have talked before uh, they impact the glycemic index jo glycemic index hai it causes a craving for carbs ਜਦੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਨੈਕਸ ਲੱਭਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫਰੂਟਸ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਤੁਸ਼ਟੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੈਜੀਟੇਬਲਸ ਜਾਂ ਸੈਲਡਸ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਤੁਸ਼ਟੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਕਾਰਬਸ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਚਟਪਟਾ ਦ ਕਿਡਸ ਈਵਨ ਮੋਰ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਪਲੱਸ ਅ ਡਿਸਟਰਬਡ ਸਲੀਪ ਪੈਟਰਨ ਇਟ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ਸ ਸਿਕ੍ਰੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸਾਈਟੋਕਾਈਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਵਿਲ ਕਾਜ਼ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਓਬੈਸਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਓਬੈਸਿਟੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਡੇਂਜਰਸ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਡੀਲਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਨਾਊਡੇਸ so these are some of the things that we have to be aware of when we talk of kids e jo lockdown da time hai e is time nu apan kids de point of view to jo utilize karna chahange then we have to teach them jo apan ohna nu hun sikha rahe ha wash your hands don't touch your fingers to your mouth nose or eyes e cheez ohna nu life waste ek habit padiye is cheez di e badi zaruri hai so we need to teach our children hygiene for life then the next if we talk about are the elderly now elderly lay jo major issues ne hai ne comorbidity and worsened chronic problems hun comorbidity ki hai comorbidity means the existence of more than one illness at one time and most of our elderly jo parents ne grandparents ne they suffer from it apart from maybe apart from bp apart from uh, thyroid they have sugar also so ek ya do do to zyada bimariyan ek samay te hona onu comorbidity kehne ha comorbidity de chances ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਰਾ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਲੋਕਡਾਊਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੇ ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤੋਂ ਸਫਰ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਉ
even in the elderly the females suffer slightly more jo apna unfortunately india da patriarchal system hega kithe na kithe females the physical movement physical workout bare inna dhyan nahi ditta janda this happens in the adult females also because it is thought ki inni der kitchen ch khade ho ke kaam kita inni der kapde iron kite inni der cleaning kiti ta workout hi hai and that's the biggest myth it is the biggest danger this is not workout this is physical stress because some particular set of muscles are getting impacted for a longer and longer duration so females the movement restricted hain the hai ki kitchen te house de andar tak bahut si housewives ne jo kehnde a ki sanu ta pata hi nahi lagya bhi lockdown hoya saadi ta roz di life hi eh ji hai this is a chance for them also to wake up and realize that this can also cause problems health problems later in life this needs to change so females generally they are not as expressive not as assertive so they are impacted slightly more the males the elderly males are impacted by lack of a low intensity physical routine so kyunki physical routine ona da ruk gaya hai most of the time jado main bar sham nu ya swere parks vich dekhde ha ta 70% log jo walk kar rahe ne oh elderly hunde ne oh buzurg hunde ne aur ona cho bhi 70% log males hunde ne so these are the kind of uh, uh, senses that we have available with us and this tells us that lockdown the time jado ghar to bahar nikalna bhi ekdam restrict ho gaya si उस टाइम पे उन्होंने भी ये चीज बिल्कुल खत्म हो गई एंड दिस कैन कॉज प्रॉब्लम्स सो वी नीड टू बी अवेयर एंड अलर्ट अबाउट दैट नाउ फॉर द एल्डरली देयर इज वन अदर प्रॉब्लम और वन अदर इशू दैट हैज कम अप ड्यूरिंग दिस लॉकडाउन एंड दैट इज दैट रीसेंट ट्रेंड्स पंजाब एंड इवन ऑल ओवर इंडिया एल्डरली पेरेंट्स कले ने घरे बिकॉज जेडे बच्चे ने या वर्क ले या एजुकेशन ले उन्होंने तो दूर ने विद इन इंडिया एंड मोस्टली अब्रॉड तो जो ये लॉकडाउन होया जो जिथे सी उ रह गया एंड बड़े यह जे घर ने जिद सिर्फ मदर एंड फादर या एल्डरली कले रह रहे ने उन्हों को पहला मेड्स होंगे सी उन्होंने नर्सिज होंगे सी कोई हाउस हैल्प होंगे सी तो सारे कोविड के डर तो उन्होंने रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर दिता गया है अ लॉट ऑफ देम लेफ्ट अ लॉट ऑफ देम आर नॉट अलाउड टू एंटर द हाउस अगेन दिस कॉजेज अ लॉट ऑफ मेंटल स्ट्रेस एंड ऑल्सो फिजिकल स्ट्रेस सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द अदर प्रॉब्लम दैट आर बींग फेस्ड बाई द एल्डरली पेरेंट्स हु आर लिविंग अलोन फॉर द एल्डरली रिलैक्सेशन टेक्नीक्स आर एज इम्पोर्टेंट एज फिजिकल रूटीनस so one thing that they should completely avoid no matter thonu whatsapp te keh ji video aa rahi hai ki hai you have to avoid high intensity or even medium intensity workouts for the elderly no walk, no fast walk no long walks bhi tusi ini dur nikal jao ki wapas aana bhi tode layi bada okha ho jaye strenuous ho jaye it is better to have shorter repetitive routes on smooth roads don't take paths don't walk on roads that you have not walked on before because oh, road the condition ki hai you don't know pair okhreya tusi gire te is lockdown vich oh problem hor bhi zyada vad jandi hai so for them breathing exercises you know this lockdown you have to learn a lot of things and you have to unlearn a lot of things also so breathing exercises stationary workouts very simple stationary workouts such as comb uh, karna bade buzurgan nu kangi karni aukhi lagdi hai because e hath di movement is tarah jandi hai te ohna to inna zyada flexibility nahi hundi so baithe baithe us cheez nu repeat karna then baithe hoye legs nu kathe upar chakna te hands nu simply apne head te rakhna as simple as that e cheezan je repetitive karan it will be a better way to work out or keep themselves physically active during this workout then selected yoga techniques don't try anything new do things that are easy that is what you have to emphasize on the next thing like ma'am has said 
ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਟੂਵਰਡਸ ਦੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਫ देयर ਐਂਡ ਆਫ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰੈਜੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਉਹ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਸ-ਪਾਸ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੰਟਰੈਕਟ ਕਰੋ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਰੀਕਨਫਰਮ ਥੈਟ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਰੀਐਮਫਸਾਈਜ਼ ਥੈਟ ਫਾਰ देम ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਇੰਟਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਔਨ देयर ਫੋਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਟੀਵੀ ਤੇ ਆਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਸਮਹਾਊ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਸਹਾਰਟਨਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਪੈਨਿਕ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ and buzurg bahut jaldi panic ho bhi rahe hain ek sense of insecurity aa raha hai so jehdi ye fearfulness hai jehdi anxiety hai is age te a thode physical well being te thoda jaldi fast impact kardi hai anxiety attacks one zyada common ne zyada easy ne in later years and then the next that ma'am has also talked about i would like to say it again is laughter therapy laughter therapy is sorry yeah. to disturb you but could you be a little fast as we as we running out of time i will try definitely I'm, i will try i'm, I'm already going very I'm fast i'm sorry to say that yeah. i'm already going very fast i'll go faster Thank so you. then we have laughter therapy so laughter therapy is something that is very important for the elderly so we are almost to the end of it take heart so how do we cope with this the golden rule is relax breathe stretch and in this order that first you relax you empty your mind then you breathe you take a deep breath and then you stretch so don't do it the other way don't stretch first because ekdam to no that stretching karo te tusi kuch apna koi loss na kar lo koi zyada impact na pa lo so even if you have to stretch first just sit or stand relax take a deep breath and then stretch yourself deep breathing lungs no strengthen kar di hai and learn to stretch your diaphragm diaphragm is a very solid muscle under your lungs so when you take a deep breath through your nose to no you will feel ki thoda upper stomach jehda hai ga oh bar aunda hai that is very important oh ji breathing sikho shallow breathing na sikho jide vich tusi you expand and then towards the end you go back so learning to stretch the diaphragm because this will lead to more oxygen intake so have a greed for oxygen the next is stretching stretching is extremely important aksar apna walk karke aunde ha but walk karke aake wapas apna normal kaam ch lag jande ha no once you are back from the walk from any physical workout that you do you have to stretch edenal muscle injury the chance reduce hunde ne posture improve hunda hai circulation improve hundi hai and it reduces and manages your stress now i would like to take a couple of minutes to talk about the circadian rhythm thodi circadian rhythm bare awareness hona bahut zaruri hai this has been in ancient western sciences and in vedas also so circadian rhythm jo hai what is it ek 24 hour da internal body clock hai that is in the background linking your brain and your physique and bit alternating between the sleep and wake cycles at regular intervals which is why it is known as the sleep and wake cycle circadian which circa is means around and dian means day so around the day running around the day is circadian and inu appa kithe na kithe ayurved vi gal karda hai din charya din charya and also ritu charya so circadian rhythm ਆਪਣਾ ਬੋਡੀ ਕਲੌਕ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਨੇਚਰ ਦੇ ਬੋਡੀ ਕਲੌਕ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਲਾਈਨਡ ਹੈ ਵੈਨ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਲਾਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਥੋਟ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਅ ਸਨਰਾਈਜ਼ ਸੂਰਜ ਉਗਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਖਰੀ ਵਾਰ ਕਦੋਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਸੀ ਆਈ ਸਟਿਲ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਪੀਟੀਸ਼ਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਨਿਆ ਕੁਮਾਰੀ ਵੀ ਹੈਡ ਗੋਨ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਸਭ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਸਨਰਾਈਜ਼ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਆਇਓ ਬੜਾ ਖੂਬਸੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਹੈਡ ਵੋਕਨ ਅਪ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਕਡ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋਰ of the indian ocean te assi sunrise dekhya si te oh memory haje vi mere memory mind ch badi fresh hai why can't we have that memory every day so kuch indicators ne jehdi our body nu is nature di circadian rhythm nal ik talmel bana ke rakhde ne sab to pehla indicator hai daylight so daylight means waking up with the sun when the sun comes up 
our body knows but if we keep sleeping har cheez body di late ho jandi hai the second is meals apa meal kis time te khane ha so having a good breakfast taking in lots of liquids and trying to have lunch while the sun is at the peak in the sky is actually very good for adjusting our circadian rhythm then the next is temperature temperatures seasons ritu charya so rut da phal khana and finally stress levels how stressed are you if you take a lot of stress at that time what happens is this will affect your digestion which will suppress your bowel movements and this will lead to fat storage in your body so weight is directly linked to stress you can eat right but if you don't feel good if you don't feel right or think right your weight related issues become very persistent so that is for your circadian rhythm i would have liked to talk a bit more on this but because of shortage of time i'll just come to what you can do ek golden rule is lockdown da hai ki is lockdown to tusi kuch bahut stress nahi lena ki main lockdown ch kuch karke dikhana hai mainu bahut productive kar lena main koi miracles kar lene ne no do easy stuff e thodi golden opportunity hai ki tusi apne aun wali life da ek routine set kar sakde ho is pause vich tusi eh je nave habits inculcate kar sakde ho jo tusi bade sokhe tarike nal agge vi continue kar sako so don't trouble yourself unnecessarily do fun stuff find your inner child family time spend good family time and make a habit of long slow family walks where you talk to each other you observe nature you observe people around you family yoga is a very good option especially to keep the children engaged to make the children learn always remember बच्चे दसन नाल घट दिखा के करण नाल ज्यादा उन्हों के माइंड विच इस चीज की एक्सैप्टेंस आती है सैकेंड बी वेरी अवेयर एंड असैस योर फिजिकल आउटपुट बैलेंस इट कॉन्शियसली विद योर डाइट थोड़ी फिजिकल आउटपुट कि है दिन चुनू अपनी डाइट के नाल बैलेंस में रखो स्पैशली योर शुगर योर फैट एंड योर कार्ब इनटेक दैन द नैक्सट इज लोकल जो आप बच्चा बच्चा जो बचपन से जो गेम्स खेलते सी इंडिजनस गेम्स टापू दैन बैलेंसिंग बुक्स ऑन योर हैड फॉर अ गुड पॉस्चर दैन होल्डिंग अ वेट इन ईच हैंड वाइल वॉकिंग एंड वेन एवर यू वॉक वेन एवर यू गो फॉर अ वॉक टेक सम वन अलोंग विद यू एंड टॉक टू दैट परसन इट इज वेरी गुड कार्डियो वैसक्यूलर एक्सरसाइज सौखे कम भी वेन एवर यू गो फॉर अ वॉक कन्ना च ओ ला के जे नहीं है कोई तो लगा लो पर कोशिश करो कि थोड़े नाल कोई कंपनी हो जिद गल कर सको गल मार सको दिस इज वेरी गुड फॉर योर लंग्स लंग्स की एक्सरसाइज होंगी है एंड फॉर योर कार्डियो वैसकुलर वर्कआउट दैन स्पैशल फोकस ऑन योर स्पाइन बड़े ही पंजाबी गाने ने जी बैकबोन की गल करते वेल बैकबोन इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट बी प्राउड बी इरेक्ट ऑलवेज then avoid screens and get game boards antakshari puzzles and outdoor games lay bachcha nu holi holi encourage karo but hygiene practices sikha ke kuch eh jiyan games ne jehdi social distancing allow kardiyan ne such as all the games jina vich rackets use hunde ne such as badminton tennis right it is apni equipment aap leke jao apna racket leke jao apni shuttle leke jao apni ball leke jao te wapas lyao don't interchange teach the kids this then cricket then football but don't play strenuously play for exercise use masks and keep sanitizing repeatedly remember consistency o cheeza jo har roz kar sako pick those simple things that you can do so that you can make new daily routines and once this lockdown is over o cheez to see continue vi rak sako that should be your aim when you think about your physical health and finally what i would like to finish with is life efficiency e ek eh jeha concept hai jo shayad bade purane time ch vi exist karda si par ek nave form vich sanu hun vi present hoya hai there is a lot of research going on it if you remember kise time te country di progress nu country de standards nu ode gdp na measure karde si 
ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਪੁਰਾਣੀ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਸ਼ੋਲਡਰਸ ਤੇ ਇੱਕਦਮ ਵਰਲਡ ਦੀ ਲਾਈਮਲਾਈਟ ਚਾ ਗਈ ਭੂਟਾਨ ਵਾਟ ਫॉर ਫॉर ਗ੍ਰੋਸ ਡੋਮੈਸਟਿਕ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਇੰਡੈਕਸ ਕਿ ਹਰ ਸਿਟੀਜ਼ਨ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਹੈਪੀ ਹੈ ਰਾਈਟ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਡਿਟਰਮਿਨ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਕਿ ਇਕਨੋਮੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਡਿਟਰਮਿਨ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਇਨਫਰਾਸਟ੍ਰਕਚਰ ਡਿਟਰਮਿਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨਗੇ ਇੱਕ ਪਰਸਨ ਦਾ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਫ ਡਿਟਰਮਿਨ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰੈਸਿਵ ਹੈ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਡ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਉਸੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਹੈ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਫੀਸ਼ੀਐਂਸੀ ਨਾਉ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਫੀਸ਼ੀਐਂਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਰੇਸ਼ੋ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਕੈਲਕੂਲੇਟ ਕਰਨ ਲੱਗੀਏ ਸਾਇੰਟਿਫਿਕਲੀ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਰੇਸ਼ੋ ਆਫ ਹੈਪੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਅਰਸ ਓਵਰ ਦ ਇਕੋਲੋਜੀਕਲ ਫੁੱਟਪ੍ਰਿੰਟ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਥੀਸ ਹੈਪੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਅਰਸ ਹੈਪੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਅਰਸ ਉਹ ਸਾਲ ਨੇ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਵੈਲ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੀਗੇ when physically mentally you were fit and fine and it is multiplied by life expectancy so how many years of your life were you happy and healthy so you would be surprised be je pichla jo system chal reha siga jo apan jiyo reh sige us system vich jehdiya apan developed viksit desh mande ha developed countries mande ha ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਫੀਸ਼ੀਐਂਸੀ ਪਰ ਸਿਟੀਜ਼ਨ ਸੀ ਉਸ 15 ਸਾਲ ਹੋਣੀ ਸੀ ਔਨ ਐਨ ਐਵਰੇਜ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਬਲੀਵ ਇਟ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਅਜ਼ਿਊਮ ਕਰੀਏ ਕਿ 65 ਇਅਰਸ ਆਲਦੋ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੈ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਕਸਪੈਕਟੈਂਸੀ ਇਜ਼ 70 ਪਲੱਸ ਬਟ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਅਜ਼ਿਊਮ ਥੈਟ 65 ਇਅਰਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਐਵਰੇਜ ਲਾਈਫ ਆਫ ਅ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਕਸਿਤ ਦੇਸ਼ ਚ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਸਿਰਫ 15 ਸਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ happy life years which count kar sakte ho baki de 50 saal were not happy life years don't you think that's a waste so in this becomes it becomes very clear that we need to change we need to unlearn the old approaches and we need to learn the new approaches so unlearn the consumerist approach and learn the sustainable approach and to wrap it up that i have just written down that you need to ensure in your life if we talk about the physical aspect the first is what do you take what do you give your body your diet on which dr jasleen will be talking tomorrow the second is rest exercise to pehla rest rest is extremely important developed countries which citizens jadon vote karde ne ohna di demand vich hunda hai ki sanu public parks provide kite jaan sanu recreation vaste spaces provide kite jaan sanu leisure de spaces provide kite jaan sanu social interaction de spaces provide kite jaan so rest is actually number 2 on the things that you have need for a good life so first is diet the second is rest the third is exercise physical exercise 30 minutes a day is very important that you do something apart from your household chores then posture exercise alag hai posture alag hai theek hai your posture is something else and hold on just so having an erect posture is very important and finally avoiding unnecessary addictions unnecessary intoxicants unnecessary dependencies and these dependencies are not just on drugs or alcohol or smoke or tobacco it is also on your addictions like the phone your screen time and many other things so i hope all this has been helpful in understanding uh, okay i'm just going to stop share yeah i hope that the presentation has offered you a newer perspective and also taken the stress away from you ki kuch bahut hi important karna hai life vich right is lockdown vich kuch bahut hi important karna hai kuch important nahi karna hai chotiyan chotiyan cheezan de farak paune ne choti choti changes leke aane hain jo tusi bade comfortably leke aa sakte ho jo ki jadon lockdown khulle naturally thodiyan oh continue ho jaan once the lockdown opens so thank you once again i hope i've maintained the time gone a bit overboard i think uh and i'm would be happy to address any questions anyone has thank you so much thank you thank you chetan thank you so much chetan please
for giving your valuable views on the topic physical well-being. I am sure a part that you have told that you have conveyed to them to inculcate well-being. Chetan, you have very beautifully touched the physical and the mental well-being patterns of individuals of all ages, which means that they can also facilitate it to their neighbors or to their parents or other family members. I fully agree with you that screen time affects the kids, but undoubtedly this has become an unnecessary evil during pandemic. Thank you for providing the inputs how to deal with this issue, including the sleep and the craving issues, which is again uh, one of the important issues. Thank you for the wonderful physical exercises. So I believe these are just very simple ones that you told and people of any age group can go ahead with it. So thank you, uh, truly quoted, we actually lacked the love for nature and you have given us hints to how to come back to nature and how to uh, again start loving nature. So thank you so much.